Hi guys, I hope you're really well. Salut tout le monde, j'espère que vous allez tous très bien. So today we are in my utility room. Alors aujourd'hui, on est dans ma buanderie, we say in French. So like, you know, a second kitchen with fridges and washing machines, etc. Alors une deuxième cuisine avec, euh, voilà, des frigos, des machines à laver, etc. And I thought this would be a good opportunity to do a bit of a vocabulary pertaining to, like, health, nutrition, supplements, vitamins, this kind of thing. Alors moi, je pensais faire un tout petit peu de vocabulaire. Alors tout ce qui concerne, voilà, les, les vitamines, les minéraux, un minéral, des minéraux plural, euh, des compléments. Um, yeah, so let's have a look inside my fridge. You can tell it's my fridge because it's got rainbow. <laughs> it's got rainbow crap on it. Enfin, <laughs> l'arc-en-ciel. Um, amant, as well as, as these magnets. Right, so... Um, what do we, let's start. So I take, I don't take all of these every day. It's just as and when I feel that it's appropriate. Alors je les prends pas tous les jours, c'est quand je, quand je le considère enfin, plutôt approprié. So in no particular order. Iron, alors le fer. Because, um, yeah, because there was a, so as a celiac, um, occasionally, if I've had a bit of gluten, my absorption is a little bit bleh. Alors, en tant que celiac, des fois, j'ai des problèmes d'absorption. Donc, voilà, c'est pour ça que je le prends. Um, as a rule, though, uh, if you take too much iron, you'll be constipated. Donc, en général, <laughs> si tu prends trop de fer, t'es un tout petit peu constipé. So, that's just as, as and when, if I've accidentally been given um, gluten in a restaurant, so Voilà, on m'a quand même donné du gluten dans un resto. I make use of that, but that's kind of quite rare. Um, spirulina, so this I take about one, twice, once, twice a week. Alors, de la spiruline. So it's actually a kind of like algae, which is really full of antioxidants and is really good for um, your immune system. Alors, effectivement, c'est une algue bourrée d'antioxydants. Ça aide le système immunitaire. We've got... Ashwagandha. Ashwagandha. Um, donc de l'ashwagandha, it's a, I think it's actually a shrub rather than a herb that they chop up. Alors je pense que c'est un arbuste, un arbrisseau qui découpe euh, très 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 fin. Um, yeah, and it helps again with sort of um, uh, de l'endurance physique, like physical endurance and muscles, and helps you your body deal with stress. It doesn't calm the stress, it just helps your body deal with stress. It's known as an adaptogen. Alors effectivement, c'est un adaptogen, ça veut dire que ça aide encore à gérer le stress, et ça aide avec l'endurance euh, musculaire. Great. Then we have vitamin A, which I very rarely use. On a de la vitamine A, but one blood test that I do, I do like a private blood test every sort of couple of months just to make sure that I'm really super healthy. Alors je, je fais quand même des prises de sang tous les deux mois, voilà, pour bien savoir que, voilà, j'ai tout ce qu'il faut. And the one time, I can't remember why, it's a little bit low in vitamin A, can't remember. Um, what else? Probiotic. Alors, des probiotiques, that I take, as it says, every day. Um, I've got a couple of autoimmune conditions, nothing serious. I mean, celiac is fine as long as you avoid the gluten. Alors, moi, j'ai plusieurs conditions auto-immunitaires. Um, and that all starts, you can help that with them, I believe, with gut flora. Alors, ça, tu peux quand même aider avec la flora intestinale. So, I take OptiPack every day. Actually, do you know what? Let's take these as I need them. <laughs> this is not a bad idea. So, I can call this video Watch Me Swallow. So, let's take the... Optibac, on va prendre l'optibac with my little coffee, avec mon café. Hmm. Good. What next? Um, ashwagandha. Now, next to that is milk thistle. And for once, I have absolutely no idea how you pronounce or what it would even be called in French. Alors, pour une fois, j'ai aucune idée de comment ça s'appelle en français. Ça fait un peu de I'm to look that one up. Is um, a herb that apparently, when you've had a really big night of drinking, it helps the liver. Alors, quand t'as vraiment picolé, ça aide le foie. <laughs> so, notice, la foie is faith, feminine faith. Le foie is the liver. So, let's just take the um, ashwagandha. Ashwagandha. 
I've taught myself to take pills. I used to be really bad. Right. Then we have magnesium. Now, I don't take this in the morning. Alors ça, je prends pas le matin because somebody told me that minerals are best absorbed separately. Alors, on m'a expliqué qu'effectivement, pour bien absorber des minéraux, il faut le faire séparément. That means that the, the same part of your gut that absorbs zinc, it fights to absorb the magnesium and the zinc at the same time. Donc, apparemment, tes tripes, voilà, ont du mal à absorber le zinc et le magnésium en même temps. So, I take magnesium, a lot of magnesium, because apparently, if you've had ciprofloxacin, you're generally low in magnesium, which is why we get really crampy really quickly. C'est qu'en général, si tu as eu ce médicament de merde, um, que tu as toujours des carences, carences, c'est ça que tu fais une déficience de magnésium. So that I take a lot of in the evening. Um, what else do I take? This one's really good. So uh, vitamin C and D, selenium and zinc. So this is for immunity. Um, donc ça, c'est pour le système immunitaire. Now, um, so many plastic bags kicking around this place. We need to tidy them up. Il faut les ranger. So, um, Vitamin D kind of became the star immunity product during the pandemic, didn't it? Alors, la vitamine D est quand même devenir la vedette, l'étoile de, de... I just drank coffee without the pill. Je viens de boire du café sans la pilule. During the pandemic, pendant la pandémie, pendant la Covid. So, um, yeah, so in other words... Everybody used to think, oh, vitamin Z, but zinc is excellent as well. If you've got any health problems, si tu quelques problèmes de santé, like a, a virus or something, un virus, zinc apparently shortens the life of the virus. Apparemment, le zinc, enfin, uh, ça réduit le, la durée du virus. My gorgeous friend Phil was a little bit sick, still turned up to teach. Alors, uh, mon cher ami Phil, il était un tout petit peu malade um, la semaine dernière. I bought him these, actually. Alors, je lui ai acheté... Uh, celle-ci, these pills. One second. Right. So that's the immunity. Le, le système, it's a masculine word. Le système immunitaire. Oh, good, you get my, <laughs> get my shape, chin. Then we've got zinc. I take an extra zinc sometimes if I'm out of the immunity. Alors, je prends un zinc supplémentaire si j'ai plus de la pilule pour le système im um, immunitaire. Zinc is a man, every time a man stresses, does exercise, doesn't sleep and ejaculates, he loses zinc. Alors chaque fois qu'un mec ne dort pas, fait du sport, éjacule, what's it doing? Qui stresse, il perd le zinc. So, um, il perd du zinc. So that's, uh, that's why I take a lot of zinc. Also, I don't have it now, like my problem would be wrinkles. Alors, je ne l'ai pas maintenant. Mon problème, enfin, ce sont des, des, des rides. But when I was younger, you know, and you get the old breakout, alors quand j'étais plus jeune, et si tu quand même, si tu chopes un bouton, si tu as une peau acnéique, I was told zinc was amazing for, 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 for skin. Alors, on m'avait dit que le zinc était formidable pour la peau. Great. Um, what next? Now, this bad boy. I do also have vitamin D. Alors, je prends aussi uh, de la vitamine D. So, this I will take. Um... Now, this is for a couple of reasons. I've never, ever, ever, ever had psoriasis. Alors, j'ai jamais eu de... Tu Like, the... Yeah, like, de, de, de la peau sèche. Tu as un tout petit peu de psoriasis. But weirdly, just on the base of my back, bizarrement, le bas de dos, I got a tiny patch. Two months ago, alors hein, j'en ai um, développé un tout petit peu il y a deux mois. And I went to the doctor, and the doctor was like, "Oh yeah, you've got you've got a bit of that, but it'll probably just go. It's probably just stress. It's probably more stress." And he he said, "Oh, we often use like whatever zinc, a vitamin D creams. Alors souvent on se sert des des, des crèmes à base de la vitamine D. And he said there's some data that suggests like lots of vitamin D helps you. So it's kind of okay at the moment. Alors ça va en ce moment." So I sometimes take an extra vitamin D. Alors, des fois, je prends une vitamine D supplémentaire. Now, this is brilliant. Blood up pure. My consultant told me to take this. Alors, mon consultant m'a dit de le faire. De le prendre. So, um, you know my whole rule. Talk about male health. Alors, tu connais effectivement mes règles. Il faut parler de la santé euh, masculine. So, I'm completely fine. Alors, moi, je vais bien. But, um, 
a random autoimmune thing, quelque chose, enfin, <laughs> let's not even think about it, on va même pas y penser, is that sometimes my urethra shrinks, assez que des fois, euh, effectivement, l'urètre, enfin, rétrécit. So, uh, yeah, and I was just told by that department that when you have that, you need to take D-manose, qu'il faut prendre euh, de la D-manose, because that just helps your bladder and your urine and everything like that. Donc ça, ça aide la vessie et euh, l'urine and all of this business. So we like to be healthy everywhere. So I take um, a D-manose. Apparently it's a sugar. Apparemment c'est un sucre. Mm. And any bacteria grab hold of the sugar and you pee out the sugar. Alors, toute bactérie, effectivement, s'accroche à ce sucre et que tu pisses le sucre. So, you just have a nice, healthy bladder and all of this. Um, I probably don't need to take it, alors je n'ai probablement pas trop besoin de le prendre, but it's what the consultant said. Right. Um, this is vitamin C, but this is for the skin. Alors, ça, c'est de la vitamine C, mais c'est pour la peau. Vitamin C is fabulous for the skin. Voilà, la vitamine C est excellente pour la peau. Anything antioxidant, and you know, we live in like a shitty, polluted air kind of city. On habite dans une ville, uh, voilà, avec beaucoup de pollution, avec, uh, voilà, de l'air pollué. So vitamin C, antioxidants. This one's got ferulic acid as well, which helps preserve the vitamin C. Alors, il y a de l'acide ferulique qui préserve la vitamine C. Um, 23% garden of wisdom, but I keep it in the fridge because otherwise, yeah. It's useless after a couple of weeks, otherwise, sinon c'est pourri après deux, trois semaines. Um, omega 369. Omega 369. That's just fabulous for inflammation and also just fish oil and joint. Um, yeah. What do we take in France a lot? Like cod liver oil, like l'huile de, um, de foie du morot, like, yeah. But I take a, a 369. I'm not going to take that one now because um, I only take it every two days. Alors, moi, je ne vais pas le prendre maintenant parce que je le prends tous les deux jours. Because I find, no matter how I take it with a meal or by itself, alors si je le prends tout seul ou avec un repas, but I can taste it. <laughs> je peux le goûter. And um, yeah, so I do it every two days. Um, what else have we now got? This is great, hyaluronic acid. Alors ça c'est chouette, de l'acide hyaluronique. Now you'll see that in skin care. Alors tu vas le voir dans les produits um, de soins. Hang on. It's got my magnesium in it because I've used it to go away and I always put two in the same little packet. So hyaluronic acid on the skin pulls water into your skin. Donc sur la peau, effectivement, ça attire la flotte de l'eau. Um, if you use it in a dry environment, si tu l'utilises dans, enfin, dans une atmosphère, dans, um, enfin, un peu, un petit peu, it's like it will pull water from your skin. So it does the opposite. But other word, other word, otherwise, it pulls water from the air or the lower levels of the skin, but in a good way. So it just puts water into your skin. If you take it, put it on top of your skin. Si tu le mets au-dessus de la, de la peau. A bit like glycerin. Un peu comme, enfin, euh, la glycerine. Yeah. Ça hydrate la peau. Yeah? It, it moisturizes skin. But if you take it as a supplement, apparently it's amazing for joints and everything. Mais apparemment, si tu le prends comme complément alimentaire, c'est nickel, c'est super pour les articulations. So I just need to take that one second. I repeat, this is not instead of eating properly, this is as well as. Alors, je prends ces compléments ainsi que <laughs> la bonne bouffe, as well as. Vitamin C, because obviously, again, I eat lots of fruits, je mange beaucoup de fruits. I have fruit with my porridge every morning, alors je fais du fruit avec mes flocons d'avoine, mon porridge chaque matin. Um, but just if I've just gone a day where I haven't had a lot of fruit um, and veg, I double up with the vitamin C. Alors, je vais quand même doubler avec, avec de la vitamine C. Um, 
This is if I'm feeling a bit tired. This is code Q10, alors le code Q10, which is apparently helps you, uh, really helps you get energy from your metabolism. Apparemment, ça facilite la conversion d'énergie, de, enfin, de tout ce qui est enfin, métabolique. Uh, I'm okay at the moment. Um, that's the red. Big CoQ10. I think that's kind of it. So vitamin D for bones and immunity. Alors la vitamin D pour, uh, and for the skin, pour la peau, de l de l du système, le système immunitaire. Ashwagandha for general strength and well-being. Alors l'ashwagandha pour, effectivement, pour la force, pour le bien-être. Iron when I need it, le fer quand j'en ai bien besoin. Probiotic for my tummy, alors le probiotique pour euh, les probiotiques pour mon ventre, pour l'estomac, pour le, la flore intestinale. Uh, zinc for immunity, le zinc pour le système immunitaire. Vitamin D for the same reason. Um, bum 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 bum. That's another probiotic. Magnesium, a muscle uh, repair really pour réparer des muscles. Some people take it for nerves, but that's I'm kind of okay. Actually, I've got a friend who has anxiety, so I should probably suggest that to him actually. I think I bought him some magnesium cream or something once. I think one time I bought him a bit of cream or magnesium. The bladder pure thing, uh, that's for the uh, sea. Good. Spirulina for just loads of antioxidants. The uh, spirulina for the uh, antioxidants. Um, oh yeah. And this sort palmetto, which is the same word in French. Um, I don't take that anymore, ça je le prends plus, but I just read once that all guys over 40 should take some to kind of like help their prostate and their hair and their, you know, uh, yeah, and that just to generally get rid of the inevitable prostate problems that happen to most men over the age of like 60, 70, 80. Donc on m'a dit une fois que euh, voilà tout mec euh, voilà was it 40 or 45 I think it was I started at 40 oh. One sec one sec one sec one sec